so we have seen so many different searching algorithms till now as uh, there are two categories of algorithms first of all we'll be doing the searching algorithms then we are going to do the sorting algorithms now the most popular searching algorithm which 99% of you i mean 99% of the students generally study is the linear search and the binary search you generally skip the jump search interpolation search exponential search and ternary search even some of the students do not even know that there exists something called as interpolation or exponential search or jump search because it's a very new concept to them so in this series of videos we are going to cover all the searching algorithms including the linear search even though it can be very easy and very simple the linear search can be very simple and binary search can also be very simple but still my duty is to cover all the searching algorithms from the very basics okay so uh, first of all you should know what is the time complexities of these searching algorithms and which searching algorithm is better as compared to the other searching algorithm and why we are using that particular searching algorithm in 99% of the cases we are going to prefer the binary search as compared to any other searching algorithm so uh, the time complexity for the linear search in the best case is order of 1 this is at, at the particular case when you got the element from the beginning and what exactly is searching if given an array let us suppose we are doing this searching in, in the form of an array so given an array there may be some elements like 5 6 x 2 3 4 6 and you need to find some particular element assuming that element is x then if we do the linear search or any other searching algorithm best case is the minimum amount of time that is going to require to search any element and the best case is that you try searching initially or the first time and exactly at the first time you found that element in the entire array so the easiest way or the best uh, case is always uh, the order of one in every searching algorithm so whether it is a linear search or it is binary search it can be recursive or non-recursive it can be jump search it can be interpolation search it can be exponential search or any other searching algorithm the le best case is always order of one because that is a case when you found the element exactly at the first time when you started searching now the worst case is pretty dramatic as compared to others for linear search the worst case is order of n that means you are searching some element and there are total of n elements so in worst case you have to search all the n elements so there will be n searches and the average case for linear search is order of n okay and the space complexity is order of one for linear search in all the cases then the next searching algorithm is binary search again it can be an iterative binary search or it can be a recursive binary search that totally depends on your implementation of binary search and we'll see those implementations in the upcoming videos in the case of binary search the worst case takes order of log n time in both iterative and recursive fashion and the average case is also order of log n time in both iterative as well as the recursive implementation but the space complexity there is a difference because in case of iterative space complexity is always order of one but in case of recursive binary search in worst case it is going to take order of log n as a space and in average case also it is order of log n as the space complexity now this jump search is um, in case of jump search the worst case time complexity that it is going to take is order of under root n in worst case and there's a particular scenario uh, that we are going to take where we can get order of under root n as the worst case time complexity we will see in the coming videos in average case also it is order of root n in the best case it is going to be take order uh, in space complexity is always going to be order of one okay because it is again it is iterative implementation it is not a recursive implementation there's no benefit of having recursive implementation in case of jump search and when we do interpolation search in worst case it is going to take order of n time but in average case mind this this is very important in average case it is going to take order of log of log n time which is a lot less than the binary search because binary search takes order of log n time but there's one condition that is uh, attached with it that if all the elements if all the elements in the array are uniformly distributed are uniformly distributed then only it is going to take 
order of log log n time we'll see in the implementation why it is taking order of log log n time in that case and the space complexity is order of one because it is again a recurse uh, at rate implementation it is not a recursive implementation then we have the exponential search an exponential search is going to take in worst case order of log n time and in average case also it is order of log n time it doesn't take in mean, more than that so it's again order of log n time but there's some particular scenarios where we can prove that exponential search is or you can say the binary search is better than the exponential search we'll see about we'll discuss about this time complexity is why exponential search is order of log n time even though the name suggests exponential and the name is very decisive here because exponential we feel that it is going to be uh, some constant raised to power n or something like that or something exponentially but it is not exponential it is again log n and this ternary search is again a uh, implementation of binary search only so in case of binary search we divide the array in two parts but in case of ternary search we divide the array in three parts so we can have ternary search we can have quinary search we can have so many different parts we can divide in an array but there is no benefit of that because binary search is again way better than the ternary search so again it is going to take order of log n time only but that will be base 3 but we can prove that ternary search or we can prove that binary search is way better than the ternary search and so on we can find out all these values in the upcoming videos okay now this binary search algorithm is actually comes under the category of dis decrease and concur we will see what is the decrease and concur what is the difference between the divide and concur technique and the decrease and concur technique okay now in this video we know the time complexities all these various searching algorithms now we know which searching algorithm is better as compared to other but in a sequential manner we'll study all these searching algorithms then we'll in the end we'll conclude that which of the following searching algorithm is best as compared to the other searching algorithms okay now let us go to the next video